Can you actually only get around speaking English in Taiwan? More specifically, Taipei? Let's find out. Excuse me. This is what? Uh, do you know where the closest McDonald's at? Just go straight. Right. When you cross the, the intersection? Road. Yeah. I don't really have to turn left. No, you just go straight. Sorry, my phone is dead. Yeah, no yeah I appreciate it, man. Uh, hello, everybody. I am Jackie. Jackie Chang. Yes. And I am a content creator and a filmmaker, videographer, whatever you want to call me. And I am based in New York City and originally from Taiwan. Um, I think Taiwanese people, we have so much respect for others and are always so willing to help. We're unquestionably one of the most foreigner friendly countries in Asia, if not the entire world. I feel like there's no doubt that people wouldn't be curious to find out um, whether foreigners can survive not knowing any Chinese or you know, can simply get by only speaking English. or if Taiwanese people's English is good enough to converse or be of much help to foreigners, granted that, you know, we've grown up learning English, given that Mandarin has been spoken for decades in Taiwan, and it's already like deep rooted in our brain, it's, you know, inherently going to be challenging to adopt another language, especially having to speak it, because understanding it, it's easier than, you know, speaking it. Right now, I might mainly focus on, you know, my not filmmaking channel, but more of a live, live related kind of video uh, channel. So I like to share videos that make people curious. I focus, you know, heavily on things in Taiwan and the US. For instance, you know, a vlog, a vlog of me looking for a Taiwanese breakfast in the US or, you know, a social experiment where I ask foreigners for directions in Mandarin in Taipei or a street interview, you know, asking for asking American people what's the first thing they think of when they hear Taiwan you know simply these things that are driven by curiosity 